Multi-drug nanoparticle platform improves drug delivery against cancer. Multi-drug nanoparticle platform improves drug delivery against cancer. You're listening to World Reading Club's Technical News Reading, presented by Hakim Alibokis Alexander on Spreaker Social Podcasting, presented for World Reading Club in association with Uniquilibrium. This edition's reading focus comes to us from... Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology News. It's published on January 27, 2023, under the categories of cancer, drug discovery, drug delivery, nanotechnology, and news. Our first image is a target overlaid on or a, a crosshair overlaid on what looks to be a cancer molecule and the credit is to Freshade Fotolia whatever that is oh Fresh Idea good, good lord it's one word in a study of mice MIT chemists demonstrated that their multi-drug nanoparticle shrank tumors much more than when drugs were given at the same ratio but untethered to a particle. Their nanoparticle platform could potentially be deployed to deliver drug combinations against a variety of cancers. Their findings are published in Nature Nanotechnology in an article titled Molecular Bottle Brush Prodrugs as Mono and Triplex Combination Therapies for Multiple Myeloma. Cancer therapies often have narrow therapeutic indexes and involve potentially suboptimal combinations due to the dissimilar physical properties of drug molecules, wrote the researchers. Nanomedicine platforms could address these challenges, but it remains unclear whether synergistic free drug ratios translate to nanocarriers and whether nanocarriers with multiple drugs outperform mixtures of single drug nanocarriers of the same dose. Here we report here we report a bottle brush prodrug BPD platform designed to answer these questions in the context of multiple myeloma therapy. There's a lot of interest in finding synergistic combination therapies for cancer, meaning that they leverage some underlying mechanism of the cancer cell that allows them to kill more effectively, but oftentimes we don't know what that right ratio will be, explained Jeremiah Johnson, Ph.D., an MIT professor of chemistry and one of the senior authors of the study. For several years, Johnson's lab has been working on polymer nanoparticles designed to carry multiple drugs. In the new study, he and his team focused on a bottle brush shaped nanoparticle. If we want to make a bottle brush that has two drugs or three drugs or any number of drugs in it, we simply need to synthesize those different drug conjugated monomers, mix them together, and polymerize them. The resulting bottle brushes have exactly the same size and shape as the bottle brush that only has one drug, but now they have a distribution of two, three, or however many drugs you want within them, Johnson said. The researchers first tested particles carrying just one drug, bortezomib, which is used to treat multiple myeloma, a cancer that affects a type of B cells known as plasma cells. Bortezomib is a proteasome inhibitor, a type of drug that prevents cancer cells from breaking down the excess proteins they produce. On its own, Bortezomib tends to accumulate in red blood cells, which have high proteasome concentrations. 
However, when the researchers gave their bottle brush pro-drug version of the drug to mice, they found that the particles accumulated primarily in plasma cells because the bottle brush structure protects the drug from being released right away, allowing it to circulate long enough to reach its target. If you inject three drugs into the body, the likelihood that the correct ratio of those drugs will arrive at the cancer cell at the same time can be very low. The drugs have different properties that cause them to go to different places, and that hinders the translation of these identified synergistic drug ratios quite immensely, Johnson said. In tests in two mouse models of multiple myeloma, the researchers observed that three drug bottle brushes with a synergistic ratio significantly inhibited tumor with a synergistic ratio significantly inhibited tumor growth compared to the free drugs given at the same ratio and to mixtures of three different single drug bottle brushes we were happy to see that the bortezomib bottle brush pro drug on its own was an excellent drug, displaying improved efficacy and safety compared to bortezomib, and that has led us to pursue trying to bring this molecule to the clinic as soon, or bring this molecule to the clinic as next gener as a next generation proteasome inhibitor. Johnson said, "It has completely different properties than bortezomib, and gives you the ability to have a wider therapeutic index to treat cancers that bortezomib has not been used in before." Johnson's lab is also working on using these particles to deliver therapeutic antibodies along with drugs as well as a com as combining them with larger particles that could deliver messenger RNA along with drug molecules. The versatility of this platform gives us endless opportunities to create new combinations, he added. You've been listening to Technical News Reading on World Reading Club. Presented by Hakim Alibokis Alexander on Spreaker Social Podcasting. Presented for World Reading Club in association with Uniquilibrium. This edition's reading focus comes to us from Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology News. It was published on January 27, 2023, under the categories of Cancer, Drug Discovery, Drug Delivery, Nanotechnology, and News. You can read this article and others for yourself by visiting Biotechnology, Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology News by visiting G-E-N-E-N. G N E W S dot com. That's Gene News dot com.